Well, good morning everybody, or shall I say good afternoon, because it is 25 past 1 on this Wednesday. Wednesday the 18th of August 2021. I'm up on Exmoor. Just left a little village of... Um, I can't remember the name of it now. What's the name of the village we just left? Exford. Exford. And we're heading out up onto the uh, Exmoor. National Park. I've got Dave with me today and we'll be doing an overnight camp. So uh, that's the area and that's where we'll be going. That way. That's with a long slog. Away from down there. Whatever's holding up so far, it's a bit of misty rain about or low cloud. A bit of a breeze, but it's quite cool, so not too bad at all. The heart of Exmoor campsite. Not very popular at the moment. So up that way will be Dunkery Beacon, highest point on Exmoor. We're not going there today, or don't plan to anyway. There is a Prevent Adventures video on that one anyway on YouTube. So we're just going to get our bearings, work out which way we're going. Which I believe is that way, and we'll move on. Right, well we just checked the map, which is just as well. We don't go that way, we turn left, head back towards Exford, and there should be a junction just down here. I'll go for the big gate. Dave's going for a small one. Well, we're just going to start heading up onto the moor now. So it's through that gate, and then we head up onto the moor. Just put the cover on the bag put the cover on myself and there's a reason why looks like we've got a bit of a low cloud coming in also uh, see it over that way mainly over there well, rain is here misty rain Exactly obvious, but it is there. Okay, we're going to head to the right, to that gate, turn left, follow it along to those trees. We're just going to have a break over there, a rest. That's the remains of an old farm. There's Dave, and we've just come from that direction. Um, the sky is looking a little bit clearer over there, but still pretty misty over there. So we just put the waterproofs on just in the nick of time. Right, let's get them. Right, well, this is the uh, where the old farm used to be. There's the uh, Dark Sky Discovery Trail. Land of Barrow Exmoor. Um, so this is the remains of an old farm. 
not a lot left now. Um, plan is to camp elsewhere, but if there's any reason we can't camp there, this is the alternate campsite. But uh, there's a lot of sheep here, and a lot of stuff that the sheep tend to deposit. So we're just going to check this area out, see if there is a possible campsite here. So if we have to come back, we know we will be able to camp here. I'm just going to stop here for a for a while. Just have a rest, quick snack, and see if this uh, weather will pass over. Well, if I had to camp here, this is where I would go for. So uh, that's where I would go. But hopefully, we can park and camp at the right plot spot. So we're. Uh, Filming you, filming me. We just got to follow this stream that way to get to our uh, campsite, hopefully. So uh, on we go. It's all a bit boggy and a bit tough going. Deer coming along this path, there he goes. We're still on our way. Time right now, so we wobbly can. Quarter past seven. So let's cross here. Where we want to go is down to the left. Seven thirty-five. We're just arriving at the campsite, which is in that circle of trees. So I'll bring you in when we get a bit closer. So this is the way we go, and across a couple of bridges. Twenty to eight. We're here. I'll bring you in once we're back inside. Here we are. An old enclosure by the looks of it. the tent up. I'm going to put the gear inside it and I'll bring you back in when I've done that. Dave's just put up his bivvy. He's having problems with his uh, inflatable mattress. It won't inflate, it looks like he's got a puncture. Well it's half past eight. It's getting dark in amongst these trees, it's still light out there. I've got the uh, Swiss Army stove with me today. Um, that light is just an ambient light, Euro hike. First time I've used it, seems to be alright so far. Um, I just want to grab something to eat and go from there. When I see him lit, I'll just move the light away. There you go. He's going, some water in there, let's get the light on it, some water in there, 
Bought some wine, just gonna have a cup of coffee. I was gonna have some sausages, but uh, just in the, not in the mood for it at the moment. So a cup of hot coffee. Oh, I'm gonna get some water in there, I suppose. So water is on. That's how dark it is at the moment. Time right now, 20 to 9. Coffee time, I think you can just about make me out. Just let that burn itself off. Coffee's nice though. There is supposed to be some rain coming in tomorrow, possibly in the night. Hopefully there won't be any. If it does come in, hopefully it'll come through in the night and pass. That could also mean mist tomorrow. Again, let's hope not. But it'll um, be what it is. So I'm just going to finish with coffee and I'll bring you back. And I'm going to tuck that up in my tent unless something else happens. Well, it's half past nine. Um, they're in the tent. Um, the camera's misting up. Steaming up. Um, no rain yet. Hopefully there won't be any tomorrow. Um, not particularly cold at the moment, which is good. Uh, also, try and show you down there. You see, like, it's so steamed up in here, so there ain't going to be a lot to see. Let's just see if I can show anything. No, it's just steaming up too much. Hang on. There is a light on this camera, but I can't uh, find the button to control it. All right, you can't see a lot in here. Um, like I said, the camera's steaming up anyway, so I'm going to get some sleep now, um, unless anything happens. But hopefully they won't. I'll bring you back in the morning. It's quarter to six in the morning, so it's now quarter to six on the Thursday morning. Let's just double check that time. Yep, just gone quarter to six. It's now the Thursday the 19th. The camera's not going up. It's, I can see in this tent, just dark in it. It's, it's light outside, but obviously the camera can't pick it up. Just going to get up now and start the day. So I'll bring you back in a minute. Okay, just getting up. About 10 to now. That was last night's pillow. That's about as much use as a chocolate teapot. Um, I think I can hear spots of rain on the tent outside, which is typical, it hasn't rained all night. So it's just starting to rain as we get up.
and it's outside. There's a noise you could hear just now, was the I just the vial on the, on the sleep mat. Right, let's get some socks on, put some shoes on, and let's uh, get out there. Camera's making it look a lot darker than it actually is. So what I'm gonna do now, strike camp, then get something to eat, something to drink, and then uh, work out how we're gonna get out of here today. Six o'clock. Well, I thought it was a spot of rain. I think it's actually had a little bit of dew coming off these uh, trees. The tent is damp, but not soaked. Right, let's start clearing up. Okay, time now. Okay, time now is it's got 25 past six. Striking camp. So uh, let's have a look, see what we got here. Roll mat, rolled up, or sleep mat, I should say. There's a the sleeping bag, ready to go. Take the last part of the tent down, pack that away. Then he's getting on with his uh, job of striking camp. So far, so good. Quarter to seven. Tents down, most of the gear is packed away. Um, let's just show you the camp area. So that was where my tent was over there. That's where Dave's busy was over there. It's a circle of trees here, sitting on top of a circular wall. So let's go all the way around. Near the stream down there. Right, so here's looking back in, there's the entrance over there. Let's carry on. Let's swing around, there's the view. Um, it does look like there's a bit of mist coming in. That down there. Stream on the other side. Here we are, 
back at the entrance and back inside. So I've done a bit of flattened grass, which is which will recover in no time. It's going to be LNT, leave no trace. We haven't had any campfires, the only burning that was in the uh, stove last night. Right, I'll bring you back when uh, we're about to go. Just gone ten past seven. We're heading out. Um, the fog is starting to come in. There's no easy route out of here. So it's a question of taking the less harder route. Um, which hopefully we've selected on the map. Sat map has now been turned on for today. Didn't use it yesterday, we, I saved it for the day. The trip out is more important than the trip in. So we head back down those bridges and then we head up there. Let's see how we get on. Well, that was home last night. Definitely getting misty up here. That's the way we gotta go. It's a hard place to get to this. There's no easy path in or out. On we go. That's where we're heading for, those trees there. Which is the old abandoned farm. Came from just over there. The mist is starting there, so there's a little bit of blue sky about. Sun's starting to, to burn it off. So, uh, I think by the time we get to over there, I think I'll have to take the jacket off. farm. So we pick up the trail here and make our way back, back to the car. Cows are on the move. Please shut the gate. Well, this is the path we came down yesterday. And it should turn to a road a little bit further up. Mist is getting worse. The mist was going to get clear up earlier, but it's uh, got a lot worse now. My feet are soaked through. You can see it. Trousers are soaked. Well, we're back in at Exford. Going back to the car, so there's the park ahead of us. That's where the car's not far from there. So I'll bring this uh, film to an end. So thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.